right, hey guys, we're just gonna do a video here on how to counter the Lomicron cheese. Now, this is a combo that's very oppressive in lower ranks and lower battles. I'm just gonna go over this battle here. This was a buddy of mine yeah, for uh, another guildmate who had a really good combo here and a really good comp that does consistently pretty good against Llama with the last stand and Kron. So you can see right now, Kron's in the back. He's relying solely on him to carry him through this entire match and just wipe everybody out. But a couple of things to note is you'll want a lot of sneak minions. Now, we only have one here with, with Goblin. However, there's nobody else that really does serious damage that's going to pull any of these guys out. And he's got Centauri Mage at the back here. And so the snipes and the sneaks, this guy, him, they're going to target him, right? Centauri Mage. And that's going to return fire to them and pretty much just kill themselves on, on themselves, pretty much. They'll attack and she'll reflect it back. They'll attack and she'll reflect it back. And then you've got Unicorn Mustang up here with Void. So when Kron goes psycho mode and he gets into that last stand you will be able to hold off that damage as long as you have a tank healer. So we have Wood Nymph here, right? Tank heal. You can see it, the tank heal on there, if it pops up for more than a second. There you go. So tank heal restores a portion of the monster and the first person's health each round. So because of that, the void and that heal, it will pretty much just keep sustaining the Mustang and that will in turn be able to out damage Kron with all of these other guys combined. So we'll go through the match here and you'll kind of see how it plays out and why this comp is, is so good right now for messing Kron up. You do need the mana for it, but still, it's if you can fit it all in, it's really good. So you can see he gets the buffs there for the two health, cleanses anybody that's gonna be there and then also gives everybody a last stand. But last stand's only gonna affect the last person alive on the team. We'll go to two speed here. So you'll see it gets close. Mustang gets down pretty low sometimes, but Wood Nymph comes in clutch every time with that with that heal. And because he's got Centauri Mage in the back, you see? They're, they're, attacking, they're attacking Centauri in the back there. And she's got a pretty high health pool, so she can sustain those hits. Now he has to attack the first position, so he can't attack Mage anymore. And he does zero damage because of the Void armor. Now they'll start taking this tree down, because he's ranged. He has no, no attacks in the first position. And there he goes. Now this guy comes. He still can't attack either because he's ranged as well. Now he goes into last stand. So you'll see how this... Oh, what did I do there? Oh, I just went back a scene. Okay. I just want to slow it down on this, uh, this one here so you can see. So he'll go into last stand. Now he's at 20 health, like that's ridiculous, he's going to be healing so much. However, because we have so many minions still on the field, nobody took anybody out other than Failed Summoner, we're going to be able to consistently output more damage than he can heal. So there's three there. Then he heals for six, hits him back, but here's another magic, here's another reach from Orc Surgeon. Another grab from him. He misses. See, the misses can screw you up, but as long as you have your healer, the Wood Nymph in there, and Unicorn Mustang, you'll pretty much just sustain this damage over time. Gets him back down to four. Here comes more hits. That time it connects. Heals him back up to seven. So he's only ever taken that three damage, right? Ron's only ever going to be able to put out the three damage on the Unicorn Mustang because of the void and because of the heal, right? So. So now you can see it's pretty much just a death by a thousand cuts here. Just over and over. Kron can't kill the Unicorn, and everybody else just starts getting up on him and, and beating him up. And yeah, he heals a lot, so it's really only getting like two damage off of him on every turn. But 
it's the fact that you are getting that two damage off and Kron's doing nothing to the Mustang whatsoever. So here we'll speed it up a little bit now just to kind of see how it, it plays out. But you can already see the writing on the wall that Kron's not going to be able to do anything. He can't kill the, the Mustang whatever, whatsoever. Bang, there's that heal again. Now if Wood Nymph gets taken out, you know, there is, there is times where that could happen. Blast, or you have another minion in there that has opportunity. You know, so there is ways that Wood Nymph will get taken out where that will, in turn, yeah, kind of screw you because you won't be able to do this consistently then. Uh, and what I mean by that is heal up your, your, first, uh, your first slot tank. But you can see now how it's going. It's just slowly burning them down, slowly burning them down. Here's another one. And boom, that's all she wrote. For decent, all level, like, this was the only guy, his Orc Surgeon was the only one that was really leveled up there, you know? And that just gives him an extra speed. It doesn't even really do much than that, other than that. So, Lomicron is easily beatable with this comp. Uh, it's pretty consistent as long as Wood Nymph doesn't get taken out. So just make sure your mage, your Centauri mage is in the back slot so she can absorb those sneak attacks. And, and if it's a snipe sneak attack, then she's going to reflect it right back at them and usually kill them. So... Yep, just keep that in mind when you're seeing that comp. It's a little bit trickier to fit all them in. You need you need some good mana in order to do it. But still, it's a very, very consistent comp to beat that cheese with. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and have a good one. Later.